I'm opening a Coke Zero. It's been that day. So, I thought that I would come it on um, because today has been a very low vlog day. And instead of doing like a day in the life type thing, I thought I would talk to you about Advent patterns. Um, I don't actually have any yarn to show you. Um, what I'm going to do is probably move that way a bit <laughs> and put photos up here. Um, so, as you know, I am getting, I'm opening five Yarny Advents. One, two, three. Yeah, five Yarny Advents a day um, at the moment. So I have one DK and the rest are four ply, um, ranging from 20 grams skeins to five gram micros. Um, the one that I have started, the actual project I've started is with my Lay Family, um, Lay Family Yarn Advent, which is loosely based on rainbows, um, and is a fade, uh, and I knew it was going to be a fade beforehand, so that was the one I felt the most confident starting something from quite early on in Advent and being able to kind of add as the days went on. Um, the yarn, the pattern that I've chosen to, um, do is the Brioche Adventure by Jonathan Tolo, who is made by Tolo, at Made by Tolo on Instagram. Um, this pattern is a brioche parallelogram wrap, basically. Um, it's very squishy. Uh, it's made with four ply and it basically alternates. Um, so you always got two colours, um, but you're alternating each colour. So colour one and two are first and then two and three and three and four and four and five and it works really nicely as, and it will work really nicely with a fade. Um, I know Sharon from the scr one tno Knitting po Project podcast is doing um, that with last year's Lay family I think um, and that there is some contrast between the colours so and that's looking amazing as well so that actually convinced me that one of my other advents which is my Giddy Yarns uh, Lime Witch in the Wardrobe inspired one which does not like the colours don't they they correlate to a point in the book rather than each other um I am going to do that but I'm going to do it with a main colour a contrast colour um I don't actually know if I've got it to hand I do so I'm going to instead of doing one two two three three four I'm going to do one contrast to contrast and switch the sides that the advent yarn is on so on one side you'll the, the accent color the front color will be one three five seven nine da 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 and on the other side it'll be two four six eight um that way there will be there will be a striping basically but you'll still get the other colors coming through but just not in the background uh, in the foreground they'll be in the background so i think that should work quite well with that advent um but yeah i'm i'm going to be the kind of base color let's call it is shepia's metropolis um in the color izmir which i believe is a turkish city but it's this lovely kind of pink tone gray um, and I've got 150 grams of it, which I bought to make a baby cardigan and decided against it because merino, felting, da da da. But I think this would go really well um, in that um, brioche adventure. Sure. So um, it's ready to go. The needles are in there. There's some sweets in there as a as a thing. But I wanna I wanna get some good headway on the lay family one so yeah i'm making this this is how much i'm enjoying this pattern i'm making the same pattern twice <laughs> for two advents um the other plans i have i am the dk advent that i've done um as a swap with loan i am going to my plan is that i'm going to make a deception cardi picture there um which is a pattern by ellie of skein nanigans um and uh it is sideways constructed and I'm going to wait until all I've opened the entire advent um, and then I'm going to put them all in colour in the colour order that I'm happy with and then I'll fade and it'll be similar colours on all the way in and that's that's I think that's how that pattern works. So that's my DK advent with loan um, and then I've got 
The other one that I'm using um, is my uh, Crochet Buddy Swap, um, which are five gram micro skeins. Um, and those are going straight into my Radiating Squares Tunisian Blanket. I'll put a picture here. Um, that is my pattern. Um, I will put a link um, to my pattern shop below in the comments. I'm gonna put a, a link to every one of these patterns. Um, in the links below there will be no Ravelry links because I don't do that. Um, so if you if Ravelry is unsafe for you as it is for me, um, then you be assured that there's no there's no links to anywhere horrible. Um, lastly, my very nerdy advent. My plan with that is I've got a few other nerdy skeins, um, like I've got a couple of corner of craft skeins, and my plan with that is to make um, is to hold it double with a contrast probably i'm currently thinking of getting some undyed merino yak merino yak merino yak nylon i think that's what it is which is the same base that i did my um gems in the moss cowl pattern again link to my pattern shops below um i'll put i'll put a picture here if you want um but what i'm going to do is hold it double um, so that even though the colours are very disparate, um, I'm going to make a Granny Rocks cardigan. Um, that is by Claudine, who is Iron Lamb on um, Instagram, um, and you can buy her patterns on Lovecraft and Etsy. So Tolo is on Etsy, um, so Jonathan Tolo is on Etsy, and Ellie of Skeinanigans is on Etsy as well. Um, so yeah, uh, so there are places to buy these patterns that are off RAV. Um, my plan is to make a Granny a Granny Rocks cardi, which, um, I would say most people know the Granny Go Round jumper, which is, um, Granny Stitch in the round. I've made Amelia a jumper, um, in that, but I wanted something that, um, wasn't necessarily yoked, and I also want a cardigan as well, like, because I, I, I live in cardigans, like, the fact that I'm wearing a love note shouldn't, should I tell you that, because actually this is one of the only sweaters that I've made or I like because it's got a fairly wide neck. Anyway, um, I prefer cardigans. So I'm gonna make myself a Granny granny Rocks cardigan. Hello. Um, out of my very nerdy advent. Now, um, I thought because actually this video is relatively short, I would also talk to you about some of the advent patterns that I really, really like the look of or have made or really like that designer. Um, so for crochet, um, specifically, there is one designer who I absolutely adore for advent patterns, and that is Kalisha of um, the Quirky Monday podcast. She is Nadira Tani on Instagram, and she has, and it's Granny Stitch. One of the things I absolutely love about Kalisha is that she makes Granny Stitch, much like Claudina Vian Lamb, cool. <laughs> I love a granny. Like, I, I think Granny Stitches has its place and shouldn't have the the, the the thing that everyone has saying, oh, Granny Stitch is for grannies. It's not. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful stitch as long as you're using it in, in, a, in a modern and, and, and actually, the, the granny square, I'm making a granny square blanket out of giddy yarns, hand dyed yarns. It's, it's, the granny square is beautiful and it has its place. Um, but yes, so Kalisha has made the Just Feel Better shawl, which is a large triangular shawl. There's the Just Feel Festive wrap. And I believe she's just come out with another one that's a Just Feel something, um, which is the little sister to the Just Feel Festive wrap. I believe that's just come out. I will pop it down. I'll pop a link to her shop um, down below. I believe she's on Etsy, but I'm not sure. Um, if I can't find an off rav option, I will just pop her Instagram profile link in. Um, the when it comes to knitters the person to go to for me for advent stuff is um amber o'brien she has an amazing a plethora of advent knit uh patterns there's shawls there's cowls there's a cardigan it's there's there's so much stuff there's a blanket this year um yeah um and then kind of special mention um uh, because i know that a, quite a few people are going to be making this this um Yes, darling. Love her. <laughs> anyway, um, Faye. 
Fady H Designs, did, I'm gonna, I've moved out my spot. Fady H Designs, um, she, Faye is the last word in crochet. She's amazing. She is an advocate for crochet and uh, I love her. She's a mate. Um, and she came out with a blanket, a rainbow blanket um, that went in inside crochet last year, I believe, or earlier this year. Um, and she's released it now um, as a freestanding pattern. Um, again, I'll link it below. I can't remember, is it Stormy Rainbow? I can't remember what it's called, but it's beautiful and it's a really lovely stitch that she uses. Um, it's, and again, Faye's designs, I urge you to go and have a look at all her designs because her, all her designs are beautiful and perfect examples of modern crochet. Um, what was that? No idea what that was. Um, but yeah, this blanket is lovely and I know she's creating a knit version. And um, what Faye does is she makes a lot of work for herself um, and she usually tries to do most of her designs, both knit and crochet, um, to show that crochet is just as beautiful as knit. Um, but also she tends to do them in different weights of yarn too, because she's nuts. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, go and have a look at Fade DH Designs. Um, they are, there are some fabulous things there. I've made a few of her patterns before. Sorry, I've just got a bit of hair that keeps popping out of my bin, my hair, my, 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 my bubbles. Um, okay, I think I've whittled on enough about patterns and things. Um, what's your favourite advent patterns that you've either made or seen? Uh, Put in the comments below because I'm I I may have a pattern store of stupid amounts of patterns, but there's always room for more. There's always more yarn. Right. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.